Hey there, homeowners. Are you looking to maximize the efficiency of your Rinnai tankless water heater? Insulation is the key. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly insulate your unit to help reduce heat loss and save on energy costs. Let's get started and wrap things up. Before we begin, remember that safety comes first. Make sure your water heater is turned off and cool to the touch before you start insulating. Ready? Let's boost that efficiency. The first step is to insulate your hot water pipes. This is where a lot of heat can be lost, but it's an easy fix. You'll need foam pipe insulation that matches the diameter of your pipes. Simply cut your insulation to length, then slip it over the pipe. For pipes coming out of the water heater, you'll want to insulate at least the first three feet. If you can, insulate all the hot water pipes you have access to. Next up, secure the insulation with tape if it doesn't have a self-sealing edge. Make sure there are no gaps where heat can escape. Now let's talk about the water heater itself. Rinnai tankless models are designed to be highly efficient, so full insulation isn't typically necessary. However, if you live in an area with extremely cold temperatures, insulating the external pipes and valves can provide extra protection against freezing. For this, you can use the same foam pipe insulation for the pipes and for the valves and external fixtures use insulation tape or covers specifically designed for outdoor use. Remember, never block the water heater's vents or control panel. Proper ventilation is crucial for the safe operation of your unit. Once you've insulated the pipes and external components, it's time to check your work. Make sure everything is secure and that there's no exposed piping that could be susceptible to the cold. And that's it. You've successfully insulated your Rinnai tankless water heater. With these simple steps, you'll enjoy even greater energy savings and extend the life of your system. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more practical home maintenance tips. Got a question or a suggestion for our next video? Drop a comment below, stay cozy, and I'll see you in the next one.